Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be discussing Wado Ryu Karate. Now, we're going to look at the work of the founder Hironori Otsuka. As you all know, he studied Shotokan and Jiu Jitsu. It's not just one discipline that he has studied. And today, from a grappler standpoint, from a judo standpoint, we're going to be looking at the grappling techniques, the joint locks, and the takedowns. So, it's very important to look at these arts before they were modernized or went to the Olympics or any type of point system that was added to them to see them in their raw form. So let's start with the takedown. So as you see here in this demonstration, he can reap the leg as it is coming to him. So he takes a step back and as the leg is coming, barely touching the ground, he reaps from the inside, no grip needed. So this is known in judo as ko uchi gari or minor inner reap. You rely on the grips in judo, obviously, and you put the weight on the foot that you're going to reap or at, when there is no weight on it as it is coming forward. Very similar to the karate example, you reap it. So he took a step back and reaped it as it was uh, coming towards him. It was brilliant. So let's see it again. It's flawless. So let's continue with the demonstration. Now here he actually defends a strike and then grabs the back of the neck and strikes with the knee and then blocks and throws forward in a sacrificing motion. In judo, we call this uki waza. So ukiwaza is a floating technique and it is one of the hardest techniques that you can pull because you are putting yourself in a very difficult position. Now, there are those that are very good at it, like Olympic champion Teddy René of France. Here you see is one example. He just flattens himself and puts the leg on the ground and then hurls him over it. So it's a surprise to see it in karate as well uh, in this form of ryuha. So here you see again a scissor takedown coming from strikes and the way he just throws himself and scissors the legs at his age is nothing short of amazing. You can see this in judo. It's called kani basami. Also, you can see it in capoeira and old jujitsu. So this is a very dangerous move uh, and it is banned for a very good reason. I've discussed it many times. It can seriously rip all the ligaments in your knees and there's no time to stop it or block it or tap out. It, it will just simply happen and people all are still doing it by accident sometimes and they are being eliminated. But again, it's a very dangerous technique and the way he does it, does it with such grace is very impressive. Now, let's go to some old school self-defense techniques of jujitsu, like the wrist twist against the knife. I've done a video about this. I will link it at the end. Someone, uh, a police uh, officer, removes the knife from someone and uses this particular technique. So here is another example from the same school, a far more recent example. So this is called Kote Gaishi or small hand twist so you can use it with an open hand or against the knife so as they are coming you can grab grabbing the wrist is crucial and vital in order to control any attacks especially from a weapon like the knife and then you twist the wrist this next one here is the four directions throw or shihonage and they are falling on wood so it's it's truly remarkable. So you can do it with the elbow bent. You can do it with the elbow up or to the side or with the arm extended, but going underneath the arm and then throwing it, it puts a lot of pressure on the wrist, on the elbow and also on the shoulder. So here you can see, and lastly, an arm bar. So there is a bit of groundwork. So you can do it from the standing here. You block the head. Then you twist to the side. Let's see it here. He twists the arm 
to the side and not so much extending the hips. It's a different type of an arm bar. But also you have your classical Juji Gatame. You can go down to the ground. He scissors the head and extends the hips on the elbow. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but for it to work, you need to block the head, put it, put your leg on the head, and from there you block them from doing anything. And the other leg, it can be not on the chest. It can block the side, the side for, so it prevents them from rolling towards you. But from what I know from Juji Gatame is that the head should always be covered. Now, scissoring the head or triangle uh, on the head, like in triangle choke, and then going for an armbar, sure, it works. But from this position, not covering the head, for me, it should not work, at least... That's what I know. And also there are the self-defense against classical wrist grabs where you exploit the empty part of the grip. And from there, as you see here, how they lock the thumb, they say it's theirs. It's not in jujitsu. And I've never seen it in all jujitsu, but still. So now let's take a look at it and how it is today competitively. You, you see very little or no grappling at all. It's a lot oriented around striking and you see it's very much a sport or a combat sport, a contact sport and the stuff that we just saw just are not there. No scissor takedown, although I do not uh, condone it. No reaping of the legs or very little like an O Sotogari, but it's mostly point scoring through uh, striking and it happens to a lot of martial arts as the decades go by and it's really a shame so pre-world war ii or after the war by very little the arts were far richer now granted they were far more dangerous like again this technique it's not a technique that i would advocate for it to come back it's very dangerous and so many knees and careers have been ended because of it it's very similar to old kendo where they would do stuff like this i will do a video on old kendo i found a lot of old footage and here you see there's a lot of groundwork they would even remove the helmet and strike each other or choke each other and of course take each other down so i will be covering that very soon so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content and also to support my work to keep it growing and evolving. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.